Thanks, Inez. In Fox 5 Health News, doctors have been warning against tanning for years, but now one organization is making a controversial claim. Rick Falbaum has the story. This full-page ad in the New York Times has a lot of people talking. It's sponsored by a group called the Indoor Tanning Association. Their goal is to get you to rethink sunbathing because it claims too many people are being scared out of the sun. A moderate amount of exposure to UV light is very healthy for people, and experts are starting to change their minds now on this whole issue of uh, sun abstinence, and they're really coming around uh, and starting to say that it is important that people get a moderate amount of exposure to UV light, whether it's in out in the sun or whether it's in a tanning salon. The campaign highlights recent evidence, which shows that exposure to ultraviolet light from the sun or a tanning bed stimulates the production of vitamin D, which protects against heart disease and some forms of cancer. While that may be true, many experts say the ad is extremely misleading. We can predict right now exactly how much damage the, skin, the, the sun does in as far as melanomas are concerned. There's no, there's no direct cause and effect, and that's how they're getting around the ad. But overall, it's, it's, it's irresponsible to say that there's no health concerns whatsoever. Besides acting, tanning is one subject that skin cancer survivor and soap star Frank DiCopolis is very passionate about. My livelihood is my face, and I thought I was doing something that was intelligent, and that was going to a tanning salon to protect myself, right? Well, guess what? I firmly believe to this day that I got my four basal cells on my face because I went to a tanning salon and put my face that close to a machine. Rick Fulbaum, Fox 5 News. Joining us now is board-certified dermatologist Dr. Doris Day. Thanks for being in here. Thanks for having me. What is a tan in the first place? A tan is your skin's way of protecting itself against skin cancer. That's what a tan does. When It's like if we go outside and it's raining, my skin, I'll open up an umbrella because I have darker skin, so my melanin will pick up and form an umbrella over my skin cells to absorb the radiation from the light and protect my skin cells. Somebody who's very fair, they'll go out, they'll get soaked. They won't be able to open that umbrella, and their skin cells are going to keep getting hit by those ultraviolet rays, and the DNA is going to get damaged, and as it repairs, it starts to make errors in repair, and that causes skin cancer. Now, one thing that this group that took out this ad is claiming is that when you get exposure to the sun, it helps your body process vitamin D, and vitamin D helps protect you against cancer and other health problems. Okay, well, these are the facts. Ultraviolet radiation is a known carcinogen. That means it's known to cause cancer, and th that's from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. So we know that ultraviolet radiation is dangerous. There's two types of ultraviolet radiation, UVA and UVB, and tanning salons are saying that they're safer because they're more UVA than UVB, okay? But we, use, we now know that UVA also causes skin cancer. It's kind of like in the beginning when the... When the, the smoking organizations came out and said, oh, well, it doesn't cause lung cancer. Because we didn't have the molecular proof that, that there was that relation, but we now know that it does. There's emphysema and there's lung cancer. With ultraviolet radiation, it's the same thing. We know that ultraviolet radiation causes non-melanoma skin cancers, basal cells, as you saw, and squamous cell. Melanoma is a little bit more iffy, and they're playing on words on that. We also know that ultraviolet radiation damages the skin itself. It causes skin aging, brown spots, all sorts of things that people also work to correct. So if you take all the things that ultraviolet radiation does, the balance is more negative than positive. When you look at vitamin D, yes, you need sun to make vitamin D. However, in this country especially, we have fortified foods, we have multivitamins, and we have vitamin D in a pill that you can take. And that's the better way, the more smart way, and the safer way to get vitamin D. So you could theoretically, like, live in a cave and never see the sun, and that wouldn't be bad for you? Well, you know what? Thank God we don't have to do that, and that is one extreme. But if you look at normal daily activities, we know we, we need to go outdoors. We need like to be running smart from the about car it. car into the store, right. running, walking down the street. Is that enough exposure right there? That's probably enough exposure over time, depending on the time of year, because you need more UVB to make vitamin D. However, what we're saying is 
not to avoid all sun exposure altogether. That's not realistic and that's not really a good idea. What we're saying as dermatologists and from the Skin Cancer Foundation, the American Academy of Dermatology, what we're saying is to be sun smart. Try not to go out of your way and especially don't go to tanning salons. We know that's bad for your skin. What we're saying is to be smart about your exposure. When you go to the beach, use sun protection. Reapply it regularly. Try to stay in the shade when you can. Do your activities earlier and later in the day. And the fake tan stuff is so good these days. And it's safe. Yeah. It's really safe. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Day. Really Thanks appreciate for it. Me. And for more information about skin cancer and Dr. Day, you can log on to myfoxny.com and click on the Good Day tab. It's 8:11, and now there are.